solving percent problems. Great day students, so welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to solve percent problems such as percent of change, discount, markup, commission, sales tax, and interest. Let's begin! Let's have our first example. The price of a notebook increased from 9 passes to 12 passes. Now what is the percent of change of the notebook? But what is the percent of change? Percent of change tells you how much a quantity increases or decreases based from the original amount. There are two types of percent of change. When the original amount increases, that is percent of increase. When the original amount decreases, that is percent of decrease. Now let's go back to our problem. Here, it is said from the given situation that the price of a notebook increase. That means we are looking for the percent of increase. To solve or to get the percent of increase, we need to divide the amount of increase by the original amount. But how are we going to get the amount of increase? Do you have any idea? Wonderful! You are right! To get the amount of increase, we need to subtract the original amount from the new amount. This gives us our new formula, which is percent of increase equals new amount minus original amount over or divided by the original amount. Now, let us substitute the given. The new amount or the new price of a notebook is 12 passes minus the original amount or the original price of a notebook which is 10 passes divided by the original amount which is 10. Now let us solve. 12 minus 10 is 2 divided by 10. Now let us divide 2 by 10. 2 divided by 10. Since 2 is smaller than 10, Let's add point zero. There! Let's put first the decimal point aligned from the decimal point in the dividend. There you go. Now let's divide. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 2 times 10 is 20. 20 minus 20 is 0. Our answer is 0.2. But since we are looking for the percent, we need to change the decimal into percent. Let's move the decimal point two times to the right. One, two. Let's put zero to the empty place value. And then change the decimal point into percent sign. Now, our final answer is 20%. This means that the percent of change of the notebook is 20%. Wonderful! Now, let's have another one. Let's try our second example. The price of a pen decreased from 10 pesos to six passes. Now what is the percent of change of the pen? Since we can see from the given situation that the price of pen decrease, 
it means that we are looking for the percent of decrease. Now to get the percent of decrease, we need to divide the amount of decrease by the original amount. But how are we going to get the amount of decrease? Yes, you are correct. We can get the amount of decrease by subtracting new amount from the original amount. Let us write it down. The original amount or the original price of the pen is 10 pesos minus the new amount or the new price which is 6 pesos over or divided by the original amount which is 10. Now let us solve. 10 minus 6 is 4 divided by 10. Let's divide 4 by 10. Since we know that 4 is smaller than 10, we need to add 0. .0. There you go. Let's put first the decimal point above. Now let's divide. 40 divided by 10 is 4. 4 times 10 equals 40. Now let's subtract. That gives us 0. Now our answer is 0.4. But we need to convert it or change it into percent. Let's move the decimal point 2 times to the right. 1, 2. And put 0 in the empty place value. There you go. And don't forget to change decimal point into percent sign. Now our answer is 40%. This means that the percent of change of the pen is 40%. Great job! Let's go to our next problem. Leo wanted to give her mom a gift for Mother's Day. He found the dress cost 450 pesos and mark at a 20% discount. Now how much was the discount? But wait! What is discount? Discount is the amount of reduction from the original price, while the percent of discount is the discount rate. Now let's try to solve the problem. To solve for the discount, we need to multiply the original price and discount rate. Here, the original price of the dress is 450 pesos, while the discount rate is 20%. Now let us multiply. But before we can multiply this, we need to change the percent into decimal. To change the percent into decimal, change the percent sign into decimal point and then move the decimal point two times to the left. One, two. There you go. Now we have point 20. Now it's time to multiply. 450 times point 20. So 0 times 450 is 0. And 2 times 450 is 900. Now let's add. That gives us 9000. But since we have two decimal places here, we need to move the decimal point in the product two times to the left. One, two. There. Now our final answer is 90. This means that the discount is 90 pesos. Great job. Let's have another example. 
Sarah bought a watch which originally cost 500 pesos. She got a discount of 50 pesos. Now what is the discount rate? This time we are looking for the percent of discount. Now to get the discount rate, we need to divide discount by the original amount or original price. We know that the discount here is 50 pesos divided by the original price which is 500 pesos. Now let's divide 50 divided by 500. Since 50 is smaller than 500, we need to add 0. There you go. Now let's divide. 500 divided by 500. That is 1. 1 times 500 is 500. Let's subtract. And that gives us 0. But since we are looking for the discount rate or percent of discount, we need to convert or change this decimal into percent. Again, to change this into percent, we need to move the decimal point two times to the right. One, two. Now let's put zero in the empty place value. There you go. And lastly, don't forget to change the decimal point into percent sign. Now our answer is the percent of discount is 10%. Wonderful! Let's try our next problem. In a clothing store, the owner adds up a markup of 20% on blouses. Now how much is the markup price if a blouse originally cost 70 pesos? But wait! What is markup? Markup price is the amount added to the original price for profit, while the percent of markup is the markup rate. Now let's try to solve our problem. Here we are looking for the markup price. To solve for the markup price, we just simply need to multiply the original price and the markup rate. The original price of the blouse is 70 pesos, while the markup rate here is 15%. Before we can multiply this, we need to change the percent into decimal. Again, to change percent into decimal, first change the percent sign into decimal point, and then move the decimal point two times to the left. One, two. There you go. Now, let us multiply. 70 times 0.15. Now, our answer is 1050. But since there are two decimal places here, we also need to move the decimal point of the product two times to the left. One, two. There you go. Now our final answer is 10.50. Let's try our next problem. Mr. Carino, a real estate agent, receives 3% commission on the property he sells. If he sold the property at 50,000 pesos, Last month, how much was his commission? But wait, what is commission? Commission is the amount of money a person receives for selling something. The percent of commission is the commission rate. Now let's try to solve our problem. To solve for the commission, we need to multiply the total sales and the commission rate. Here, 
the total sales is 50,000 pesos, while the commission rate is 3%. Now before we multiply, we need to change the percent into decimal. Let's change the percent sign into decimal point and move the decimal point two times to the left. One, two. There. Now let's multiply. Since we have two decimal places here, let's move the decimal point and the product two times to the left. There you go. Now our final answer is 1,500. This means that Mr. Carino's commission was 1,500 pesos. Wonderful. Kimberly decided to save and open a savings account in a bank with 1% interest per year. If she has 5,500 pesos in her account, how much interest will the money earn in one year? But what is interest? Interest is the percentage of an amount invested or borrowed, while the percent of interest is the interest rate. Now let's try to solve our problem. To solve for the interest, we just need to multiply the principal, rate of interest, and time. The principal is the total amount invested or borrowed. Here, the total amount invested or saved in the bank account is 5,500 pesos, while the rate of interest is 1%, and the time is the length of time in years. Here, we are asked to determine the interest of the money in one year. Now let this multiply, but wait, before we multiply, we need to convert or change the percent into decimal. Again, change the percent sign into decimal point and move the decimal point two times to the left. One, two. And put zero into the empty place value. Now it's time to multiply. 5,500 times 0 0.01 Since we have two decimal places here, we need to move the decimal point in the product two times to the left. So that is 55 times 1 year is 55. This means that the money will earn 55 pesos in one year. Great job! Great job! Now here are the things that you learned today.